It appears that Showtime are attempting to build a very, very strong night of boxing on December 1st. Because not only are they looking to put on Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury with Luis Ortiz on the undercard, but they're also looking to put on the very same night Adonis Stevenson versus Alexander Vodsek. This won't be on the same card. The Stevenson Vodsek fight will take place on a different card in Canada, but it'll be on the same night, as I say. It will be happening before the. Uh, Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury show so it will lead into that that's a strong night of boxing right there Stevenson versus Vodzik is a very very good fight Vodzik is a top contender he's been rising up through the ranks he had a very impressive win over Isaac Chalemba some of you guys may remember Vodzik did a much better job on Chalemba than Kovalev or Bivol did bear that in mind okay the only issue or one of the issues that I have with Vodsek, one of the question marks I have with him is his chin because he was decked heavily by Tommy Carpensi, who is a light heavyweight fringe contender at best. That's what Tommy Carpensi is. He decked Vodsek heavily and it wasn't too many fights ago that that happened and it was in the first round and Carpensi is a southpaw. Adonis Stevenson, he dealt with Carpensi with ease. That wasn't a competitive fight. And that was prior to Carpensi fighting Vodsek. So, does Vodsek have issues with southpaws? Does he have issues with reading a southpaw left hand? Because this will certainly be the most dangerous southpaw left hand that Vodsek has ever come up against in the shape of Adonis Stevenson. Stevenson, I'm expecting to uh, take a totally different approach to the Vodsek fight. Then he talked to the Badu Jack fight. Stevenson in a Badu Jack fight came out firing all guns blazing against Badu Jack. He didn't manage to land many left hands in the first half of that fight because Badu Jack's movement was very good, his evasive movement. But Stevenson was just throwing left hand after left hand after left hand and just trying to stomp his authority on the fight from very early on. And he actually wasted a lot of energy in the first half of that fight, even though he won just because he was throwing more shots and Badu Jack wasn't really doing anything, so Stevenson won the early rounds just through activity. He wasn't really doing much damage, you know? So in this fight against Vodsek, I'm expecting Stevenson to be a lot more cautious and not so gung-ho because the second half of the Badu Jack fight, that was traumatic for Adonis Stevenson. He's never been in that kind of position in a professional fight before where he was tired and hanging on for dear life and really had nothing in the tank. He's never been in that position before. So... At 40 years old, or 41, I'm not sure how old he's going to be by the time he fights Vodsek, he knows he don't have that kind of gas tank to be letting it all hang out in the early rounds like he did against Badu Jack. So I'm expecting a more cautious and crafty Stevenson against Vodsek, who's going to box more conservatively and counterpunch a lot more rather than leading off with a left hand like he did against Badu Jack. So will that make for a good fight? I don't know. I think it will make for an interesting fight. That's what I will say. Because Stevenson is vulnerable in terms of his stamina. We know that now. We know he's an old man. Definitely vulnerable with the stamina. Vodsek is potentially vulnerable with the chin. You know. So it's going to be interesting. There could very well be a change in the guard here. We could see Stevenson lose his WBC light heavyweight belt. I think Vodsek is talented. He can punch. He is a good boxer. He does have height. And all that kind of business, youth, energy. But Stevenson still has the equaliser. He still has the experience. So definitely looking forward to this fight. Let me know what you think in the comment section below about Adonis Stevenson versus Alexander Vodsek. Who, have you, who are you picking in the fight? And also let me know what you think about the, the night of boxing which Showtime are building on December 1st. Because again, these are not going to be, these fights are not going to be on the same card. Stevenson versus Vodsek is going to be on a different card than Wilder Fury, but it will be on the same night and the Stevenson Vodsek card will lead in to the Wilder Fury pay-per-view. All right. So let me know how you feel about it all in the comment section below. It's happening. I'm out. For those of you who are interested in topics outside of boxing, controversial topics even, you might want to check me out on Patreon. Today's podcast, which I've just uploaded, is right here. People are leaving comments already. 
And the topics covered, it's an hour and 26 minutes long. And I'm covering the topics of black men and white women. Dating single mums. And in that section of the podcast where I'm talking about dating single mums, I'll talk about my personal experience of dating a couple single mums in the past. And also the effects of social media. The effects that social media is having on the younger generation especially. So I'll be covering all that in today's podcast, which is just uploaded 27th of September. And as far as Patreon in general, I upload a minimum of two podcasts a month. As you can see, quite a lot of them are lengthy podcasts, you know, sometimes over an hour long. This is another one, Sexual Liberalism, Democracy, Religion and Psychopathy was the previous one that I did on Tuesday. And, you know, I cover a whole heap of other stuff. Q&A sessions and even Eminem rap beef with MGK, all kinds of controversial topics which I couldn't cover on YouTube without having strikes against my channel, demonetization and all kinds of other stuff. So I'm able to do it on Patreon. So check me out on Patreon, even talking about Alex Jones and you know all kinds of other stuff. So check me out on Patreon. There is literally hundreds of hours at this point. There must be hundreds of hours of content on Patreon. You don't just get to access my new podcast, which I upload twice a week on a Tuesday and a Thursday. You also get to access my entire back catalog of previous podcasts, which includes my highly acclaimed, I think it's fair to say, Confessions of a Nightclub Bouncer series. Yeah, you just go to my page, my Patreon page, and you type into the search box, Confessions of a Nightclub Bouncer, and you'll hear that series and, you know, you make up your own mind as to whether it's as good as people say it is. There's that. And there's also, as I say, the weekly topical podcast, which I do, the live Q&A sessions, all that kind of stuff. As you see here, it says on my Patreon page, Hatman is creating podcasts for independent minds and critical thinkers. And that is what primarily what I do. But from time to time, I will talk about music as well. That's another thing as well. I've got my music up on Patreon. A lot of you may not know that I used to make music back in the days. When I was younger, I used to rap and stuff like that. And apparently I was quite good. You know, it's not me saying this. Let other people decide whether I was good or not. My music is accessible there on Patreon. It's all part of the the, uh, the back catalog. So anyway, like I say, check me out on Patreon if you're interested in hearing me talk about stuff outside of boxing. Yeah, it's happening. I'm out. Join me on Patreon. I upload a minimum of two podcasts every single week covering a wide variety of controversial topics as well as live stream Q&A sessions. Take a look on screen right now at some of the podcasts I've produced so far. For just $3 a month, the equivalent of about £2 a month, you get access to all my new podcasts and my entire back catalogue of past podcasts including my popular Confessions of a Nightclub Bouncer series. You can listen on your computer or on your smartphone or tablet by downloading the Patreon app from the Google Play Store or the App Store for free. The Patreon app also allows you to download each podcast in MP3. For less than the price of a cup of coffee, you get access to dozens of hours of exclusive content. It's easy to sign up, there's no contract, and you can cancel at any time. So come and join our community of free and critical thinkers by signing up with me here on Patreon today.